Hey guys, it's Fullcarts here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Let's go, go, go. From me today, 2020-21 Upper Deck SP Signature Edition Case Part 4. Hopefully it's not guts and gore. Am I due for something poor? Yeah, hopefully we receive some Future Watch autos galore. We haven't received any yet, so that's what I'm hoping to hit in this box, but we'll see. We'll see whether it's average or below average at this point. We've had three really solid boxes, so. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, I'm wondering if that last box included my case hit, if you know what I mean. I mean, I, there's so many other cards I wanna hit. I'd love to hit a duel. Interestingly, on the duel checklist, by the way, Wayne Gretzky factors and figures three times on that checklist. There's 12 cards on that checklist, but he's there paired with a Messier, he's paired with a Yari Curry, and he's actually also paired with a Luke Robitaille. How cool would it be to hit those? Mindful that they're numbered to 10, so that's probably highly unlikely. Should we start, let, you guys wanna start on this end today to change things up, mix things up? Let's do it. Let's go from right to left on our radio dial, which is how they used to describe games before TV. Describe the players, which direction they're skating. So let's have at it, guys, let's go again. So this is basically the halfway point of the box after this, right? So we have a Guillaume La Tendresse, in case you haven't seen the backs of the cards, uh, pretty square and typical. Grant Fuhrer, and we do have a Yarrow Jagger. So I believe this is a tier one. It is in fact a tier one. These are the commons, uh, the easiest ones to hit. Andy Bathgate and Lanny. Lanny in his Calgary gear, Robin Regeer. Oh, cool, a life after hockey. So we have Mark Bell, and let's see, this is a really interesting checklist. And that one, as you can see, is Al Secord. That is an old school name, Al Secord. Reminds me of Laura Secord. I think you Canadians know what I'm talking about. When I was a kid, my dad, we would order butter pecan and I'd order like chocolate or something. Uh, although I must say, butter pecan is really good. So continuing on guys, Ed Van Imp, a lot of background noise today. Hopefully nothing too crazy. Somebody was drilling earlier, Kyle Wellwood. And this is a base. Um, Facsimile, and it's Peter Bondra. Peter Bondra auto would be a nice uh, average auto, I think, in this product, and Matthew Dandeneau. I'm close to downtown Brooklyn and close to the hospital as well in Brooklyn, so I always hear ambulances and cop cars and stuff. Lori Boschman, a Johnny Busick card, and I believe this is a base canvas, and this is a beautiful one. I'd love to receive an auto of this, and I mentioned in my last break how much I like it, them in the early 1980s. Um, all-Star gear, it is just beautiful. What a beautiful Wayne Gretzky. This to me is one of the nicest cards in the entire deck of cards. So if you guys are wondering who are the number to 49 sort of case hit, product hit, um, Future Watch autos, there's Hashik, there's Sakic, there's Pont, Messier, Lindros, um, Solani, Belavo, Jagger, Brodeur, Morris Richard, Iserman, Patrick Watt, Lemieux, Lidstrom, Gretzky. How is numbered to 199 and the auto version is numbered to 25. So those are really the case hits slash product hits in case you're wondering. This is another one of the dominant digits. John Davidson, I'd love to hit him as well. Uh, I don't know if he has an auto in this product. And John Davidson absolutely has autos in this product across the different autos checklists. Anyway, so we have Gavin, we have Boris Salming, we have Girardi, we have Brad Richards, as well as a Holzinger. All right, on to the second column, uh, middle column, middle stack, Jack. All right, oh, cool, there you go. So this is our fu first future watch of the entire case. Uh, I feel like these are a bit, oops, out of my excitement, I just bashed the camera around. But this is my first clear cut of the case. It's my first future watch of the case. So that's very cool. I feel like these clear cut um, future watches are fairly common compared to other products, but we'll see. There's Brian Engblom, who's now a commentator, but uh, he was one of my favorite players uh, back in the 70s. Johnny LeClaire, uh, in 80s, I guess. Simon Gagné, and this is just a base card of Chris Chelios. So who is our first future watch of the case? And of course, it's an all-time future watch. And I'm thinking that's Hawk and Lube. Is that Hawk and Lube? What? Hawk and Lube? This is, he's probably one of the best hockey names ever. Uh, Hawk and Lube, he was absolutely on your Stanley Cup winning 
Calgary Flames of Montreal Home Ice, as I've been mentioning across this case. So that's my first Future Watch clear cut. All right. Pretty average one, I'd say, you know, because he's a group, uh, whatever they call it, is a tier one tier. I don't know how they do the tiers, but basically a tier to 199 is what he is. A Turk Broda. I'd love to have a Turk Broda auto. I don't think I have one of his autos. I'm going to say clear cut. It'd be a cut auto. There's Wayne and there is Cruz and who is this? And it is a Mario Evolve and it's a base Evolve a Mario. All right, we still haven't hit an auto yet. So I think we might hit one soon. I'm guessing we hit the generic one soon, but we'll see. And this is uh, just a base one again, a base parallel. Kip Miller and we have a Stan Makita. Wow, Stan Makita. He recently passed as well, right? Terry Sawchuk and Jill Malosh. The thing about those future watches, number to 49, there's like 15 of them is, as I mentioned before, Plante, Bellafo, Richard do not have autos. So then you subtract those, there's only 12. Um, Gordy Howe, I guess, is in that tier, even though it's number to 199, but you'd have to hit the parallel. What's interesting about his stickers are, is this, a, now that is absolutely, it's one of the um, gold foil autos. Yeah, the thing about the how is he died about six, seven years ago, and it's amazing that he still has new products, new autos in uh, the most recent products because of the stickers. That's why I de one of the reasons why I defend sticker autos. Um, but let's see who this is. So this is a more generic one, I'm guessing. And who is this? Ooh, it's a leaf, very nice. And it's Daniel Marois. Daniel Marois, that is really, really cool. That's a solid one. I'm all for anything 06. So a solid one there, Daniel Marois. He's a Montrealer, believe it or not. Uh, but yeah, nice. Okay, a leaf, I like that. So we have a Robert Picard. We have a Garpenlov, an Yvon Lambert, uh, who wore number 11, Danix, Dennis Hextall. And we hit the Beliveau. That is so pretty. These are just so nice. Very nice. And he died in 2014, which is the same year as my mom died. So I'm probably always gonna remember that, guaranteed. And I'm not sure this, I don't think this, I think this is a base, but I'm not 100% sure. Guy Lapointe, Michel Goulet, Terry O'Reilly, and Eddie Beers. And what is this? Ooh, look at this. Look at this. It's just a base, but look at that. It's the Rod Brandemore. That is really nice. Coach Brandemore. This is actually one of the better photos. That is so sick. All right, uh, so our top shelf, top flight um, auto will be in this column, I guess. And don't tell me we hit, is this, is this another auto? Did we hit another one of these? Or is this just a base one? I think it's just a base one. Ooh, it fell. Yikes. That's a pretty bad reveal on my part, but I don't think I dinged it at all. The Joe Sack, it would be sick to hit an auto version of this. Really, really pretty. These base decagons are beautiful and the autos are something, I, as I mentioned, I'm gonna to try to collect them. There's Theo Fleury, Briere, and Rick Five. Another base pack, more or less. We have a Cylinder, we have a Stu Barnes, and we have the Evolve of Alexander Burroughs. All right, uh, Pronovost and Samuelson. All right. I think at this point, I wouldn't mind hitting Natural Future Watch, but anyway, so Ben Lovejoy. We have a Greg DeVries uh, facsimile parallel. Donnelly, Carlisle, Coach Carlisle, and Salvador. All right, so where's our auto? Where's our second auto? Where is it? Could it be this? Oh, we have a future watch. Okay, I have no idea who this, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. Hopefully, I think it was a player, I'm not even sure. I just saw a corner of it, so. Josh Georges, x Hab, Cron, and we have the Hextall, uh, Ronnie Hextall, it's a nice shot. Billy Ranford and Al Howitzer Iafrady with the mullet, which are back in style apparently. And Latowski, Rod Langway. I have a buyback OPG auto of his, Paplinski, Hogaboom, and um, Dennis Savard. So this is it, guys. This is our box hit here. So let's see. Let's see whether we can muster it. Let's see whether our luck has run out. Trevor Linden, Mason Raymond, and who is it? I see red, is that a good thing? I don't even know. We'll see, let's see. Let's see who this is. All right, all-time Future Watch Auto. 
and it is, it's not the same guy, is it? So this, I'm thinking, so this is another, oh, it's number 299, that is really good. And it's the Al McInnes, that is solid, that is very nice. So that's the tier two. Uh, a little bit of a smudge, I'd say, on, on his number two. Uh, I don't think I put that there as much as I touch cards all over because I'm a tactile guy and I don't grade, but absolutely a solid one. Number 299, so that's one of the tier twos. That's the middle uh, tiering. Very good, very, very good. So that's basically it, guys. Interesting box of this stuff once again. Finally hit a couple of future watches, which is dope. Um, yeah, man, I'm loving this case. So now we're halfway through the case. We'll see what the other half has in store for us. Enter my draw, please do, because I'm gonna announce the winner this week. Have me full cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. Sub like hashtag Dryden.